It's not. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it might help, but gang members don't care. Right? I mean, you, you see the random shootings in Toronto. They walk around and they just shoot people randomly. Do they think they care about the sentence? I don't think so. Right? Uh, uh, I do think that Trudeau should make tougher legislation against handguns. I mean, I, I keep hearing politicians say it ever since the shooting, but I, I can't find a reason why somebody in this city or in this country requires a handgun. It just doesn't make sense. And I mean, look what happens when they fall into the, the hands of the wrong people. It's As a legal gun owner, when I took my course, it was a two day course. The second day was for rest uh, restricted handguns. I did a criminal record check, but no mental health check at all. There was nothing on the applications asking for a doctor's note or any kind of mental health check at all. So it was very easy for me to get a hand, uh, license for a handgun. But didn't that pass a little while ago when they said somebody get caught with a handgun right away, it's automatic, two years in jail? I don't see that happening. What's the reason for somebody to have a handgun in the city? And if you do have access to a handgun, it's a lot easier to do something like this, I guess, if you do have mental issues. If you're caught with a gun, you should go to jail for life. Well, I certainly think they should uh, do more about the illegal handguns in the city. Um, sentences should be a lot tougher than they are now, and they should be enforcing the border a little tighter. There's too many unprotected borders where guns are coming across. It wasn't that long ago that uh, they got about 60 guns there out of a car, out of one car. So uh, thousands of cars crossing over, there's probably a lot more guns coming over than just those 60.